Hi everybody, welcome back to Thrift Witch. I have a short video for you right now of some thrift haul items that we picked up while shopping on the weekend. I've decided to divide our trip into a couple, a couple different videos as we got quite a lot at one stop and only a little bit at another stop. So it just seemed easiest to divide things up by where we purchased them. So um, at this particular stop, this was a Salvation Army, um, which as you may or may not know, often have some really good prices, if not as much selection as other thrift options um, for us here in Canada. So the first thing here is this giant hobbyist piece kitty cat. I did pick this up for myself. Um, I just, I think they're adorable and they're huge and I really just sort of wanted to have one. So uh, I picked up her and I'm calling her her just cause she has fabulous eyelashes. Although to be fair, my kitty cat Eugene, he also has fabulous eyelashes. So that's not always just a girl cat thing. A couple other pieces of ceramic, a couple of little unicorns, I think which were about 50 cents each, and this sweetheart little shaker all by himself cow. Uh, a couple sort of seasonal little books, um, a little Halloween Friends um, kitty book, and uh, the best jack-o'-lantern. I think these are just kind of cute for Halloween display. Um, a lot of people do Halloween decorating or vignettes in their homes, and I think these would be a nice piece to feature in that. Another little piece of nostalgia as an 80s uh, kid is this Rainbow Bright doll. Uh, I picked her up because I just don't see a lot of Rainbow Bright stuff, and she's not in the greatest condition, um, but she was quite inexpensive, so I picked her up. I often pick up uh, strawberry shortcake, Rainbow Bright, the Smurfs, Trolls, etc. Stuff from our childhood um, if you are a Gen X or a certain age. Um, next is a piece that I actually, I wasn't even certain if I was going to take it and then I, I really am glad I did. I did. It is this vintage 1950s, 60s um, jewelry box. I don't know if you can see here. It does say M-E-L-E -E right here. Maybe my, yeah, my finger makes it easier to read. Uh, or I guess Mele, um, which is a quite a well-known jewelry box manufacturer. It had a little, little bit of um, staining or dirt on it, so I was able to clean it up quite easily. It is quite a, <laughs> it's a very 1960s, 70s piece with this gold, like the gold, um, sort of gold brocade looking outside, and then this, um, gold colored velvet interior has the top section here with lots of room and two drawer sections and it does have the original key which is nice so the lock is functioning and you can actually lock this if you need or want to um, it's in good shape it does look like a little bit I think I saw somewhere here maybe looks like a little bit of glue was used to um, to re-adhere this section, I might be able to get that little bit off. But other than that, it's in really nice condition. And yeah, it just really screams, um, you know, 60s, 70s uh, aesthetic, I guess is the best way to put it. Uh, and the rest of the items that I got at this stop are artwork pieces. So I picked up this um, framed picture of a Scottish fold cat. Um, this is not an antique really or vintage by any means, but it is a really um, well framed piece of artwork. Uh, I love Scottish folds. I think they're just the most adorable kitten. Um, so this is a really well made, well matted piece of art. So I picked it up. Um, another little piece of artwork definitely a little bit older. Again, with the pets theme is this um, numbered, I guess, print um, signed by the artist. It looks like of two little dogs. I'm not sure of the correct term for these. I think Pekingese maybe um, is the breed, but I'm not 100% sure. Definitely an older, a bit older frame and matting. Also something that I think somebody would pick up who was um, who really enjoyed that breed or just generally likes puppies. Um, 
Next is this piece, which is an older piece of string art. Again, something sort of like the, the paint by numbers. People seem to be, and macrame, people seem to be a little bit into collecting some of these vintage pieces of string art. Does need a little bit of a cleanup. The background has a bit of pet hair or something adhered to it. And I am going to see if I can maybe um, repair or minimize the look of that little damaged spot. But it's a butterfly, butterfly string art um, in a pleasing color, red. So picked that up. Next is a local, a piece that will have local interest. Uh, this is a phrase, a framed picture. Um, and it, this is actually from the Rita River in Smith Falls. So Smith Falls is my hometown um, and it is the next town over from where our um, antique booth is located in Perth. Um, this is quite a pleasing view of the of the Rideau River, Rideau Canal that goes through town. So pick this up for local interest. Needs a bit of a clean up, but I think looks pretty good. Um, another couple pieces that are over here on the couch next to me and I'm not gonna move them. Uh, two pieces of matching needlework. This is needlework. Sorry, I was looking to see if it was cross stitch or what it was. Um, and these are nice. They were, I think, $5 each. So I did pick those up. Needlework seems to sell at the booth, so pick these up for the booth. And then the last piece is actually, I'm not really sure how much age this piece has, but it is bamboo top and bottom mounted, and it is a guide to mahjong concealed hands. And so I really just thought this was a neat looking piece and something, you know, that you might hang up in a games room. Um, so it's mounted on linen and I've never seen one before. So I just thought it was, it was sort of, it was interesting. So I picked that up. So yeah, just a few items from this stop. Uh, just sort of in a rush to get through these items so that I can unpack and show you the rest of what we picked up on our recent trip on the weekend. We got some really great stuff. Um, so yeah, so look forward to the next video. Uh, if you do have any questions or comments, uh, if you see anything here you're interested in, shout out and let us know. Uh, and again, just a plug for the Instagram page. We are starting to sell um, items on Instagram starting in November. And our Instagram account, again, is Canada underscore thrift underscore witch. Thanks for watching. Bye.